Alright, for this uh, practical, which is packaging design, you can go to VLE and uh, check out this one. So this is uh, packaging design. So what we are doing now is uh, you are going to be designing the packaging material which is using the material called expanded polystyrene or EPS. So expanded polystyrene is the typical material being used for packaging in order to protect the product or machines from any damage lah, especially when yeah, you are doing uh, transportation so transportation you are prone to things like drop so typically factories will do drop test lah for the packaging to make sure that uh, during the traveling the product inside will not be affected lah due to drop test and also you need to design it in such a way that the polystyrene material is uh, minimized so this will uh, reduce the cost so proper reading you can do here and uh, also in the next link and uh, you can also uh, read this PDF so typically polystyrene are very very lightweight it is comprised of about 90% air so depending on uh, how much or how dense you want your packages to be uh. so this is uh, packaging cushioning so you want to protect it from vibration and impact shock especially during loading and unloading so this is a typical shape uh, of an uh, expanded polystyrene cushioning among the things that you do is uh, sometimes you need to design it using uh, uh, some sort of like a cavity lah. You protect the corners and you also want to protect the edges of your product. So if you want to uh, do the testing, you can uh, test it using this machine. So this machine will uh, bring it to the appropriate height and it's going to release the box uh, at appropriate height. This is uh, things that are being done by the OEM manufacturer when they want to test their packaging quality, packaging design. So this is uh, a little bit more on uh, expanded polystyrene EPS. This is the raw material before being molded. So you need molds, uh, you need mold in order to create this uh, packaging. So this is the typical density from uh, one pound cubic foot up until four pound cubic foot the flexural strength uh, varies lah. the more dense your eps the higher the flexural strength in terms of uh, psi and also higher tensile strength and also higher shear strength so read a little bit more about this and the good thing about eps is that uh, it is safe and 100% uh, recyclable lah. so you can reuse uh, this expanded polystyrene typical manufacturer is uh, written here lah, Neopor F2200 from BASF manufacturer so you can uh, double click this link PDF and it's going to download for you the material property for polystyrene how people are using polystyrene in their designs engineered for optimal performance what else thermal insulation di density and also dimensional stability it is being used in many many applications huh? so this is uh, a little bit on uh, expanded polystyrene the material properties
and uh, this is the typical physical properties and then uh, this is the typical design lah, which you can uh, try to mimic or use you have uh, maybe 100% coverage maybe this one is about 30 to 40 percent coverage sometimes if you want to really protect it you want to do 100 percent coverage eh? so uh, this is uh, a little bit on drop test so one of the drop test standards which is being used is this one uh, Inter international safe transit association isda so if your package uh, weighs about 10 kilogram drop height free fall should be around 610 millimeter so this is the drop height eh? so cartons are typically drop according to the weight so cartons are typically drop about 10 times eh? so this 10 times if it were if it were to be more uh, weight higher weight 45 kilo for example you're going to be dropping it about 200 millimeter 8 inches okay so this is what we are doing today you are going to do the packaging for this uh, cpu computer cpu so you need to design the packaging material uh, how to do that you need to put it in assembly mode and then assemble the foam and then do a edit component which is edit the foam and then you are going to go for fe insert features and then cavity and then select the product lah, which is the CPU and you can also do some uh, scaling so we're gonna try so go to your uh, this one so you're gonna have this one desktop CPU download the whole thing and then this is the coffee jar and then AC Moto so altogether there are three files uh. desktop CPU coffee jar and AC Moto so this is the thing that you will be doing uh, which is the CPU So this CPU is in uh, assembly mode. So you've got, oh no, this is in part mode. And then we're going to do some exercise. Lah. We're going to do an exercise using this coffee jar. So we're going to do the packaging design for this coffee jar. So number one, you might want to do some measurement. For example, I want to measure the height of the coffee jar. Do uh, some uh, some sort of sketching. Can I draw here? Or am I in the wrong plane? Okay, right plane. So roughly, I need to design my packaging of about maybe about that size so how much is this roughly about 400 mm 400 mm by 300 mm so I'm gonna go by 400 mm and how about the looking from this side top sketch control it looking from the bottom roughly is about 400 mm also so I'm going to design a foam of 400 mm cube so exit sketch these two sketches I can delete lah. that's to all so file create a new uh, part click on OK and then uh, you can get right back start to uh, doing the foam the dimension is about you I can do more of course uh, 450 450 by 450 and then we are going to extrude it also by 450 
So this is the foam. I'm going now to create assembly from the part, save the part. This is something called a foam. So foam is here. Let's uh, fix the foam first. And then I'm going to assemble the coffee jar. This is the coffee jar. It's kind of small, <laughs> but it's fine. Okay, so now we're going to move it. Control 8. Click a surface. Click Control 8. We're going to position it inside here. You cannot see. You might want to change to hidden views. Somewhere. Okay, this side is fine. So I'm going to turn on to the other side. So, of course, it's like that. Uh. If you want to truly position it, you should put dimension. Uh. You can put distances and dimension to make it uh, center. You should make it properly uh, to make it center. So this is my packaging. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to edit my foam. I click on the foam. I click edit component. Okay, save the assembly first. Okay, one more time. Click the item, which is the foam. Click on edit component. And then we're going to go to insert features. Click on cavity. And then you need to choose. Nah? Choose the coffee. So you can do slight, slight scaling. Make it slightly bigger or smaller. Lah. In reality, you should make it slightly bigger or smaller. So how do you want to scale it? 0%. Do I make it bigger, so maybe 2% bigger? Be okay, let's try. Uh. Let's try to make it 50% uh, bigger. We just want to test. Bodies to keep all bodies. Yeah, the, the hole become too big, right? So you don't want that to happen. Uh. So this cavity, you need to change it back. Maybe make it about 2% bigger uh, in order to fit. In order uh, for the packaging to fit uh, inside. So once you have done that, uh, take a look inside. Everything is okay. You might want to take a look at the foam alone, standalone part. Uh. This is a standalone part on the foam. So you cannot see anything. Uh. You might as well turn this on section view does it really cut inside ha huh. so something like this lah so this thing has been really cut cut open lah. so that works so the next thing you want to do is uh, if you go back to the assembly this one lah, home in assembly you can turn off uh, edit component so it's like this. Lah. So look at our part. Our part is actually coffee jar. So how do you do want to how do you want to assemble it? So there should be such a way that it can be assembled. Ah. So you can cut it from the top or you can cut it from the side to make the packaging proper. So this is my foam. Look inside. I want to make sure that I can uh, properly assemble this thing uh. I think I need to cut it this way cut it like this so I'm going to uh, click this button click the surface right click sketch control 8 I'm just gonna cut it like that put a proper dimension this thing to here maybe uh, 120 this thing to here maybe another 120 exit sketch and then I'm going to create an extruded cut all the way blind change to through all cannot eh I can't do that Oh, that's not really proper. 
I have to delete this delete this card extrude I gotta turn on this view uh. I did not cut properly this sketch is bad I need to be cutting from this view control 8 cut from this view so mm, uh, actually you can do that already eh? I was wrong eh? you can cut from here cut from this side is fine but you need to make sure both cavities are able to be assembled together dimension here to the end is about mm, 200 too much 150 here to here 150 right it's not at the center eh? it's not really at the center so we gotta roughly make it at the center how do we do that eh? don't dimension it this way take off this dimension let's say this one is about 100 so this one to the center of this one 50 eh? so now it becomes center exit sketch so now I'm going to extrude cut all the way to the end blind change to true all so now I have now I have an open cavity eh? which uh, should be able to secure the the thing however I need to properly remove certain things here which is floating right if I were to go back to my assembly uh, it's like this lah. it's being secured like that so that this thing does not really uh, vibrate Oh, this one, see? I think we, we shifted it, uh, the percentage. Uh. It's not a good idea to change this one. Uh. This thing should be zero, uh, I suppose. Change to zero, it will properly show things. Ah, it fits nicely, right? Yeah? The percentage has to be like that. Uh. So now regenerate. Is there anything wrong? Turn off edit component. Eh? You have to turn off edit component. So this is proper. Can Is this secure during a packaging drop? Maybe. Eh? Maybe not. So of course you need to remove lah more materials in order to make it less expensive. Eh? Look for ideas like this one. They remove a lot of materials which is unnecessary in order to reduce cost. And if you look back at the foam, you really need to remove this one. Ah. This one. It is kind of like floating there. You need to cut it off. How do you cut it off? Maybe you can go to right click here. Oh, surfaces is available already. Ah. Surfaces. Delete face. Can you delete this one? Delete. Yeah. This one you don't really need it. Uh. Delete face. This one, this one. Don't unnecessarily delete uh, the things that you need. Delete face. This one, this one, this one. I'm sure this one. Try first. Okay. And then delete some more face. This one, delete this one need to be deleted too oh that one cannot be deleted if it's part of a solid you cannot delete it lah. I suppose this one can delete this one delete face 
if it's not part of solid you can delete it otherwise cannot this one and this one this is kind of floating eh? why you cannot delete alright you can delete this one delete face delete single face bodies cannot be deleted using delete face command use the delete body command okay delete body how do we go there single face you have to go to delete body F insert feature is there a delete keep body yeah delete body click this one yeah done why is this thing okay ka? I guess this one also need to delete body yeah insert feature delete keep body oh no don't delete the whole thing click click this one insert feature delete keep body oh it's going to delete the whole thing okay so again delete whatever you don't need make it a cavity yeah It should be a cavity. So take a look at uh, this side. Lah. If you want to really see how it's going to be assembled, go back here and then click on new exploded view. Now you can shift things around. Oh, the whole thing will be shifted lah, because it's single, single part. Mm, so it's like that. Lah. So this is the packaging design. And uh, of course, huh? You might want to evaluate the mass properties, not the whole assembly. This thing, what is the volume? So you want to minimize the volume. Lah. Currently, is this much volume? It's in cubic millimeter. If you want to change, edit document you need. You need volume, so you need to go to custom. You might want to change to meter cube, right? So, meter cube, click on OK, recalculate. It's gonna go to meter cube lah. Oh, it's not so ac so accurate lah. Change it back ah. Centimeter cube is good enough. Unit volume, round halfway from zero. I guess millimeter cube is is good enough. Huh? Recalculate, more accurate. Okay, so minimize the uh, volumetric volume of your packaging. So this is an exercise. The one that you should be doing is this one. Desktop CPU. So think of a way how to protect this desktop CPU uh, from any damage due to dropped. Okay, so that's all.